This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for July 29, 2023, Saturday, Memorial of Saints Martha, Mary and Lazarus. First reading, a reading from the first letter of John, chapter 4, verses 7 to 16. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God, because God is love. In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God abides in us, and His love is perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in Him and He in us, because He has given us of His Spirit. And we have seen and testify that the Father has sent His Son to be the Saviour of the world. Whoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides in him and he in God. So, we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever abides in love, abides in God. And God abides in him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response Real Psalm, your response, look toward Him and be radiant. I will bless the Lord at all times. Praise of Him is always in my mouth. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast. The humble shall hear and be glad. Your response, look toward Him and be radiant. Look toward Him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This lowly one called the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress. Your response, look toward him and be radiant. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who fear him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed the man who seeks refuge in him. Your response, look toward him and be radiant. Guard your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn aside from evil and do good. Seek after peace and pursue it. Your response, look toward him and be radiant. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears are open to their cry. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. Your response, look toward him and be radiant. When the just cry out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Those whose spirit is crushed, he will save. Your response, look toward him and be radiant. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 11, verses 19 to 27. At that time, many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but Mary remained seated in the house. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. 
whoever believes in me though he die yet shall he live and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die do you believe this she said to him yes lord i believe that you are the christ the son of god who is coming into the world the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ today's reflection on the readings my dear brothers and sisters in christ to jesus from today's gospel john 11 19 to 27 we learn that the believer knows that he belongs to the eternal loving father who will welcome him in his kingdom when his earthly life comes to an end we also learn that a true follower of jesus spends his life not in fear but in constant awareness of the presence of i am in his life thus he is always full of joy though death accompanies him wherever he goes dear friends he is also in constant awareness that every minute of life is a precious gift that should be spent loving god and loving others in this way every minute of his life is just a preparation for that fateful moment his own resurrection my dear family of mother mary's protection like martha in today's reading john 11:19 to 27 let us believe and proclaim our faith that jesus is the christ who will give us eternal life prayer heavenly father thank you for the beautiful example of martha who trusted you in the most grievous of life's circumstances thank you that you are indeed the resurrection and the life for all who trust in you help me to develop such a confident trust in your word that i am enabled to remain firmly settled in the faith even when i am surrounded by life's greatest problems tears and pain amen my dear friends please do like share and subscribe thanks for watching god bless you